Cystic fibrosis is the most common genetic disorder in Caucasians. It is caused by a single gene mutation in the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator gene. CFTR is a chloride ion channel, but it is also involved with regulation of ion movements. The gene was discovered in 1985 and then cloned in 1989. There have been many trials for treatments for cystic fibrosis which have had variable success. Gene therapy was thought of as a potential treatment for cystic fibrosis shortly after the gene was discovered. The aim of gene therapy is to introduce normal CFTR into the airways, so fixing the cause of the problem, not just the symptoms like many other treatments. Clinical trials using gene therapy began in 1993 and are still ongoing today. It was originally thought that gene therapy for cystic fibrosis should be relatively easy. This is because the lungs are easily accessible and there is only a single gene to correct. But the question, can gene therapy improve cystic fibrosis, remains unanswered, even after 23 years. It has taken this extended time period due to the huge number of unforeseen problems that came about. There are two possible methods for getting the gene into the patient, viral vectors or liposomes, but both of these have shown problems. Viral vectors cause an immune response, which was a lot more prominent than first expected for the lungs. The pulmonary inflammatory responses in lungs of cystic fibrosis patients are generally much larger than in healthy individuals. It has been found that repeated administration of viral vectors are not possible due to the antiviral immune response. This makes it very difficult in long-term lifelong treatment of cystic fibrosis. The other possibility of liposomes have been found to be very inefficient at carrying the gene and inserting the gene into the epithelium. There have been problems with powerful external and internal barriers such as mucus, cilia beating and nuclear membranes. These all affect the efficiency of the potential treatment. This problem is enhanced because of the thick excess mucus produced in cystic fibrosis patients causing problems of the genes getting into the epithelium. In the past, 26 trials have taken place with over 450 patients. But in this, little evidence has shown benefits. This is as mainly due to the majority of studies being short and trying to show safety. It has been difficult to gather true results for clinical trials as it is difficult to detect which mRNA is actually from the viral vectors. So the results may not be true results, especially in phase one clinical trials involving healthy individuals. There has been one successful gene therapy treatment for cystic fibrosis that has made it to market, Ivacaftor. Ivacaftor is the first gene therapy based treatment to be licensed in the UK and the US, but this is very expensive treatment and only works for less than 5% of patients. One of the reasons they thought gene therapy would work for cystic fibrosis is due to there only being one gene involved. This is only partly true as there have been over 1,900 mutations found for cystic fibrosis. Due to all of these problems that have been found along the way, gene therapy is still a long way from being a viable treatment for the majority of people with cystic fibrosis.